Hey everyone, it's Nurse Sarah, and in this video, I'm going to do a quick review over the antibiotic class aminoglycosides. So let's get started. The aminoglycoside class has a common suffix of mycin, which could be spelled as M Y C I N or M I C I N. And some medications in this class include gentamicin or tobramycin. Now it targets primarily gram negative, so that makes it good at treating cases of sepsis and respiratory and intradominal infections. Now one one thing I want to point out is that this medication is usually given IV or IM because it's not really absorbed very well orally. Now one medication in this class that is given orally is neomycin and the reason for this is because it's for gut decontamination. So if a patient is having let's say surgery on their abdomen they may give them this because in a sense it can help do like some GI sterilization so we don't get an infection afterwards or it can be used in cases of hepatic encephalopathy, which in a very condensed summarized way is that this is where your liver is not working, so you have the buildup of toxins. And one of those toxins is ammonia. And we can give them this medication, which can help decrease that substance in the gut. Now, how overall does this group work? Well, it inhibits protein synthesis by targeting specifically a part of that ribosomal subunit known as 30S. So it has a bacterial bactericidal effect on the body. Now, what must you remember about this class? Well, remember the word amino, which is the first part of this class's name, aminoglycosides. A is for assess the peak and trough. So this medication has a very narrow therapeutic range. So with the peak, this is where we have the highest concentration in our body. So we would wanna measure this about 30 minutes after the IV form or one hour after the IM dose. And for the trough, this is the lowest concentration in the body. So we would measure this right before the next dose. Also, you wanna monitor kidney function because this medication class is nephrotoxic. So you wanna check that creatinine, BUN, watch their I's and O's. And then IV or IM is usually the only route given because again, it was not absorbed very well orally except for that neomycin. N is for neuromuscular blockade, so watch for muscle weakness or respiratory failure. And this can actually be worse if your patient has a neuromuscular disorder like myasthenia gravis. And then lastly, O for ototoxicity. We're talking about the ears here. So there's a risk with this. So look for ringing in the ears, hearing loss, balance issues. And this actually increases whenever you have a high trough level or the patient's been getting this for quite a while. Okay, so that wraps up this review. If you'd like to watch more videos in this series, you can access the link in the description below.